In this lesson, we're going to learn about Boyle's Law and solve Boyle's Law sample problems. Boyle's Law says that gas volume is inversely proportional to gas pressure when we hold temperature constant. The equation is P1V1 equals P2V2. The original pressure times the original volume is equal to the new pressure times the new volume. As you increase the pressure of a gas, its volume decreases, that's an inverse relationship, and as you decrease the volume of a gas, its pressure increases. The reverse is also true. If we look at this graph, we can see that this is an inverse relationship. If we decrease the volume, we are increasing pressure. Volume's going down, pressure is increasing. If we are decreasing pressure, volume is increasing. Let's look at a sample problem. A sample of hydrogen at 1.5 atmosphere had its pressure decreased to 0.50 atmospheres, producing a new volume of 750 milliliters. What was its original volume? So we want to know the original volume. That's going to be V1. We're given 1.5 atmosphere. That is, it's the original pressure. And 0.50 atmosphere is its new pressure producing a new volume, so V2 is 750 milliliters. Our equation is P1V1 equals P2V2. We want to solve for V1, so to isolate the variable, we're going to divide each side by P1. The P1s on the left-hand side cancel out, and our equation becomes V1 equals P2V2 over P1. P2 is 0 0.50 atmospheres, V2 is 750 milliliters, and we divide that by 1.5 atmospheres. The unit atmospheres cancels out, and our answer is 250 milliliters. Our next sample problem. A 175 milliliter sample of neon had its pressure changed from 75 kilopascals to 150 kilopascals, so its pressure has increased. What, it's, what is its new volume? When we increase pressure, we would expect the volume to decrease because it's an inverse relationship. So we want to find the new volume, that's V2. We're given its original volume, 175 milliliters, its original pressure, which is 75 kilopascals, and its new pressure, which is 150 kilopascals. By the way, a kilopascal is just a thousand pascals. This is our Boyle's Law equation, P1V1 equals P2V2. We want the new volume, so we're solving for V2. To isolate the variable, we're going to divide the right-hand side by P2, and we'll do that to the left-hand side as well. P2 cancels out on the right-hand side, and our equation becomes V2 equals P1V1 over P2. P1 is 75 kilopascals. V1 is 175 milliliters, all over P2, which is 150 kilopascals. Kilopascals cancel out, and our answer is 88 milliliters in two sig figs. The calculator gave me 87.5, but since our least amount of significant digits is 2, I rounded that to 88 milliliters. I hope you enjoyed this video. To get more chemistry videos and practice problems, help from our online chemistry community, and the chemistry question of the day delivered to your inbox, sign up at chemin10.com. Membership is free, and we'd love to have you. This is Melanie Fine of Chemin 10.